Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. Second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Looks to his receiver, first down. They'll bring him down at the 44. You don't always need to throw the ball with a lot of zip, although it does help in some cases. When you have accuracy like this guy, you can make all the throws. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he tackles him hard at the 37. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. So the sack makes this a second and long. Taken down to the 38 yard line. A one yard gain by the halfback. There's a strike complete. And he's tackled at about the 41. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Let's go! You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage the team's confidence if it keeps happening. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Tackle at the 45. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. And this play is number eight on the drive. Rose complete touchdown. They're going to take a look at this to determine if it was really a touchdown. And they didn't waste any time going to the booth to review this play. This is a big review right here. Was it an incompletion or a touchdown? After, After review, review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the field, field stands. stands. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. And he tacks on the extra point. So an eight-play, 75-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. him out the 47 yard line.
second and six. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Blue, black, 20, black, 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 and down he goes, around the 26-yard line. He's got an opening. That's a great tackle, the seven-yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Brought down around the eight-yard line. That is a loss of one yard. That brings him second and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. Larry, Larry. Let's eat it up. Mike 41. I've got a wedge. Red two. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. Now you hate to foreshadow and assume that that drop could come back to bite them, but this offense is able to put the ball into the end zone after that drop pass. This game could be over. Tackle made at about the 13. At the 13-yard line. That brings up fourth and goal. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and it's good. Baylor is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. Throws a strike over the middle. How about the big fellas up front? This line will have to continue to play like that to build the consistency to help this offense be effective. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36. Brigham Young is up by four. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Let's go! He's tackled at the 34. From their own 34-yard line, it's third down. They bring him down. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Fourth and long here after the sack. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Great job by the cover guys getting downfield to really limit the return to next to nothing. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he's taken down at the 26. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That makes it seven and ten. And he just gets rid of it. We've got third and ten. Ball on the 26. He don't want it. And he hits.
hits him hard at the 16-yard line. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. BYU in front, 7-3. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Tackle made with the 45-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Brigham Young is up four. He's wrapped up for the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. And they make the stop at the 40-yard line. That makes it third and 15. is in and it's picked off by the safety. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Excellent hook. Tackle at the 21. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. And they got it. Fred, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. And they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Second and long. Ball on their own 16. Brigham Young holds a four-point lead. Knocked out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He steps up. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's pushed out of bounds around the 29-yard line. Well, the defense has done their job and made a nice stand. Now let's see if the special teams can come up with something here as well. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he's taken down at the 26-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Little handoff. 
He fights forward to about the 29. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That'll bring up third and six. Kill, kill, kill! Gunner three, 36, 36! Fires it out. They'll bring him down at about the 35. I don't know what game plan this offense is running, but it might need to be reassessed by this coaching staff. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He fields it at the 17. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. I give the defense credit, but right now, I think it's more case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking easy, right now and hitting on easy. all cylinders. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. That's a gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Brigham Young is up by four. And he is drilled at the 42-yard line. The coaches know, get this guy the ball any way you can. Even a short pass can turn into something big. First and 10, ball on the 42-yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. It's the sophomore that's got it, and he's immediately tackled. That'll make it second and four. tries to buy some time and he's tackled right around the 26 yard line they'll get the first down he made the correct decision to tuck it and go from the 26 yard line first down he's hit and taken down gets it out quickly that'll make it second and four And he's hit immediately. Let's it fly. Throws to the receiver. Got it for the touchdown. Did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. Once he gets those jets on, there wasn't going to be anything that could stop it. And he adds the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're ready to begin another drive. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Wants to throw outside. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Grabs it and hammered right there. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Let's go. Black five, black From the 48-yard line, second down. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. Back 
Go around the 36 yard line. Gets it. He's in space. And he's level at the 28. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Cougars in front by 11. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A look at the first half stats will tell you that neither ground game was very effective. Less than three yards per rush. Both teams will continue to try to run it. When you're not having success, how important is it to still maintain that physical nature, keep trying to run the football? I think every team's different, but when you got teams that have balance, I think those are the teams that you see the more successful. You make the defense honor the run. Now listen, if they continue to stop it and they continue to put eight guys in the box, I think you got to pick your spots when you want to throw on first down. You can't be predictable and run it every single time, and you got to be a little bit balanced, but it definitely pays dividends later in ball games if you stick with the run throughout a whole game. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Zips it to the tight end, and he tackles him hard at the 36. is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Taken back three yards. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. Black five. They go with a screen incomplete. That'll make, make it third and 13. 13. Strip that ball. 41's coming. 41's the mic. Get it. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. Well, that's just a that sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. And this one is a beauty. Brought down at the 32. We're about set to start things up again. Here we go, here we go, here we go. go. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start, start. offense. offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Ready! Tackle made at the 32-yard line. They get five yards on the play. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. 
fires out to his receiver. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. He really got a hold of that one. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Gets out to around the 38. He's tackled right around the 44-yard line. That's, That's good, good for a game of three yards. yards. That, that makes, makes it second, second and eight. eight. Easy, five, easy. Back five, back five! Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of a yard. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Fourth and long here after the sack. Booming kick. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. He's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. So it'll be second and 14 after the setback. Decent run here, right side. Sets up a screen, tailback's got it, and he's taken down at the 25-yard line. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you got to take your hat off to the defense. All week, they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He gets hit out of bounds at the 40. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Fires quickly and he's got his man. That's a great tackle at midfield. Picked off. He's at the 40. And they'll return this one all the way. Touchdown, Brigham Young.
He makes the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. I got to give this defense credit, Kirk. Brad, I don't know what the heck's going on with this offense. They just haven't been able to come away with anything. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the of mistakes. Quick throw to the tight end. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. The line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker. And he got through almost untouched. We head to the fourth. 21-3, Cougars. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Back 22, back 22. Come on, let's go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hey, kill, kill, kill! He's knocked out of bounds around the 44-yard line. Check, check! Hit immediately. Number six on the tackle. Back 22, back 22. That'll make it second and seven. Easy, Go four. Easy. Blair. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Black five, black three. And he just gets rid of it. Larry, Larry. Mike 41, Mike 41. You got nothing. Dog four. Throws it in a hurry. I think they had to go for it given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He lets it fly. And it's the senior. And he scores. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude. And it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injury. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. The 50. They'll bring him down at the 48-yard line. This guy's combination of speed and his hands make him lethal. He can take a game over at any time. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. He steps out at the 44-yard line. Six, 
Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's still on his feet. He's out of bounds at the 30. Five wide. Taken down around the 18 yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. Touchdown, Bears. That was a well drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 75-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. And he's taken down at the 42-yard line. For Baylor, they're having success rushing the passer tonight. This aggressive defense has enjoyed multiple sacks tonight. Even with all the pass protection issues, they still have the lead. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. That makes, that makes it second, it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Less than three minutes in the game. Ready! Black 90! Black 90! Nice run there. The defense has got to do a better job of being more aggressive. You know, this offense doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry. They're working the clock. You know the chances are they're going to run the football. That allows the defense to pin their ears back and get aggressive. And it really comes down to the defensive linemen holding up against the offensive line and the linebackers and safeties crashing downhill and making plays against the run game. That brings up second. Two minutes left in the ball game. Ball on the loose ball. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers <laughs> have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the line. Caught and out of bounds after a short game. The pass is complete for seven yards, and that'll be a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. He goes out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Second and four coming up here. Ball on the 49. They'll spread the field with five wide. He zips it. Almost picked off. Number seven breaks it up. That'll bring up third and four. See what you got. Under a minute left. Go! They'll make the sack. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case. But it seems like the entire game, he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm, and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure, and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. 
Well, I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. And he's tackled at the 30-yard line. Gain of 10 on the play. That'll, That'll make, make it second, second and So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Up the middle for a nice game. The defense can't be surprised that they're running the football, but for whatever reason, they're not stepping up when they need to to be able to come up with a stop. The Cougars know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street. this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.